Okay, hello. Welcome to Miss Enjoy's Spiritual Life is Life channel, and I'm Miss Enjoy. And I'm here to do love and soulmate connection reading for my Aquarius's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 1st through the 15th. And cross watchers are welcome here as well. This reading is not intended for singles. My readings are gender fluid and also apply to same-sex couples. Simply choose the masculine or feminine energy that best applies to you. I do not read reversals. I've used many decks as clarifiers. I do not tell you what zodiac signs you may be dealing with because you may not know all of the planetary placements within you or your partner's natal zodiac charts. I do not give outcomes because when dealing with love, every individual should rely on free will to make decisions in matters of the heart. I am simply here to enlighten and advise. If I do not resonate with you, please feel free to seek another reader. Reader, There are lots of wonderful readers out there and light workers who may have the message that is meant for you. Never allow reading to ruin your energy. Hello, Aquariuses. Thank you for being here. If you're returning, thank you. Um, if you're new, thank you for coming. Um, I need everybody to go like and subscribe for me so I can reach a thousand viewers and we can have some live chats. I can answer some questions and we can do some other fun stuff. Um, get to know each other a lot better. Um, let's see. What else did I need to say? I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. I'm going to ask spirits, gods, goddesses, ancestors, guardian angels, and watchers to please be with us to deliver wonderful positive messages for my Aquariuses for May 1st through the 15th and love and soulmate connections. I'm going to pull one card from my major arcana deck, which is a Zanoni deck, for the overall energy and situation of... The relationship. It's so hard to shuffle a tiny deck. I'm so, I'm so serious. Okay. Alright, Spirit. One card for the overall energy of the relationship, please. One card for the overall energy of the relationship, please, Spirit. One card for the overall energy of the relationship, please, Spirit. One card for the overall energy of the relationship, please, Spirit. All right, and we have a slider, and we're going to take it. And that's the Empress. No, I'm sorry. Actually, can make sure I got the right one because this is a foreign deck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Not the Empress, but the High Priestess. Yes, the High Priestess. Okay. Okay. So we got the High Priestess as the overall energy of the relationship. So I'm, I'm really getting from that that somebody is really, we might even have hmm, we got another or a uh, uh, a, a light reader, a, a witch, a shaman, somebody we may be dealing with, deals with a little magic, possibly. Or it's just an actual divine feminine, possibly, as well. All right, because all divine feminines have that power and have that energy, whether they know it or not. Okay. Now we're going to pull for the masculine energy. All right, spirit. Please tell me. What's going on with my Aquariuses and their soulmate connection for the masculine for May 1st through the 15th? What is masculine feeling, thinking, or doing? What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing? What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing? Please, Spirit. What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing? Please, Spirit. What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing? Please, Spirit. Please, Spirit. 
All right, we have the Death card, the Ten of Staffs, and the Four of Cups. All right, and we're going to get into the feminine energy. What are feminine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? For my feminines, Aquariuses. What are feminine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? For my feminines, for my Aquariuses, love and soulmate connection. What are feminine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? All right, we've got the Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands, and again, we got the High Priestess down there. All right. All right, let's get started with some clarification. Please clarify the Death card in the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Clarify the Death card in the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Clarify the Death card. The masculine energy, please, spirit. Clarify the death card. And the masculine energy, please, spirit. Clarify the death card, please. And the masculine energy, please, spirit. Clarify the death card, please. And the masculine energy, please, spirit. The queen of swords. And the nine of wands. All right, we've got... The Ten of Staffs up next. Please clarify the Ten of Staffs and the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Staffs and the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Staffs and the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Staffs for me. And the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Nine of Cups. And the Hierophant. Okay. All right. And we got the Four of Cups and the Masculine Energy. Please clarify the Four of Cups and the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Clarify the Four of Cups and the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Please clarify the Four of Cups and the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Please clarify Four of Cups and the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. The Ten of Coins and the Six of Wands. I like that. That is nice. I like what I'm seeing. Okay. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. In the mass and the feminine and energy, please clarify the Queen of Swords and the feminine energy. Please clarify the Queen of Swords and the feminine energy. Please clarify the Queen of Swords and the feminine energy, please, Spirit. Please clarify the Queen of Swords. And the feminine energy, please, spirit. The Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. Uh -huh. I knew that was coming. Clarify the Four of Wands. Please clarify the Four of Wands and the feminine energy, please, spirit. Clarify the Four of Wands and the feminine energy, please, spirit. Clarify the Four of Wands and the Feminine Energy, please, Spirit. Clarify the Four of Wands, please. And the Feminine Energy, please, Spirit. Yeah. I understand that. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands. All right, please clarify the High Priestess. In the feminine energy, please clarify the high priestess. In the feminine energy, please, Spirit, clarify the high priestess. 
And the feminine energy, please, Spirit, clarify the High Priestess. And the feminine energy. We got the Strength card. And the Five of Wands. Okay, we're going to do one more Royal Clarifications. And then we're going to read this puppy and see what we got. Alright, we got Nine of Wands and the Masculine Energy. Please, Spirit, clarify the Nine of Wands and the Masculine Energy. Nine of Wands. The masculine energy, please. The nine of wands. The masculine energy, please. The nine of wands. And the masculine energy, please. I'm getting to do a, I'm getting, I'm hearing that I need to do a slide shuffle for this. Okay. And we got the King of Swords here and here. And now we have the magician. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, spirit. Clarify the hieroglyph, please, for me, please. Clarify the hieroglyph, please. And that's two. We got the Ten of Staffs, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. All right, Spirit, please clarify. If you're trying to come, I'm going to be. Oh, wow. Six of Wands again. Spirit, please. You can tell me something else. And the Four of Swords, okay? All right, Spirit. I'm going to do the same for the feminine energies. Please clarify the King of Swords, please. Spirit, please clarify the King of Swords. The feminine energy. Please clarify the King of Swords. And feminine energy. Okay. <laughs> wow. King of Swords. And Five of Swords. Wow. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of swords and, and wands going on here. Spirit, please clarify the Six of Swords. And feminine energy. three fell, so I'm going to take them. Uh, once again, see, I got the devil card. Seven of wands. And the six of cups. Okay. So I'm going to take these clean over that way so I can move this here. Okay, so here I've got the Hierophant, the Strength card, the Five of Wands, which I have Yeah, I've got I've got six, 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 five, five. I've got four, 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 four. Okay, Spirit, please.
clarify the Five of Wands and the Feminine Energy, please? Okay. We've got the Star card. And the Empress card again. <coughs> Empress, you just all over this, aren't you, Mama? Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm getting. Wow. Wow. <sighs> okay. So for here, for my masculine, we've got the Death card, the Queen of Wands. The Nine of Wands, <clears throat> the King of Swords, which we also have down here in the same placement and energy for the the feminine. So I'm 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 getting that this is referring to <coughs> there's been a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. We got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords showing up here. So both of y'all been whacking away at each other. Both of you been whacking away at each other, and what I'm saying, what I'm seeing here with the nine of wands, and I mean, you you definitely been working on it. You're both battered, you you bruised up, and you're hurt, both of you, and you're both thinking about how to change this. You're both really thinking about how to change this situation, because I see what well, you're showing up as the empress. And I'm really getting that from this last row, I'm sorry, the High Priestess, and then the Empress here at the end. I'm really getting from this row here that you got some work going on. You're already watching tarot videos. So I'm seeing that you've got some shadow work going on to try to change this situation, to try to manifest some change into this situation to try to bring some change and I'm gonna get to that in a minute because if this is the marriage card then you're well within your right so let's go on let's go on now up here we've got the ten of staffs which is the work and the nine of cups so he's putting in the work because he and and seeking counsel trying to change uh this could also also be you know because you can counsel yourself self counseling uh po or possibly reaching out to uh somebody else for counseling and 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 guidance to figure out how to change things because then we have the 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 knight of pentacles and then once again the knight of wands so Basically, this is saying to me <clears throat> that he's, there's love here. His heart is in it, but he, he's battered, he's, he's battered and bruised too here with the Nine of Wands. He's looking, but this also says to me that the worst is behind you with the Nine of Wands. Because if you look, he's got one wand in his hand. And the other ones are stacked up behind him. And yeah, he's a little beaten, battered, but those are behind him. All that is behind him. He's got one wand in his hand, and it looks like he's, he's, he's still looking back at the past. But he's trying to move forward. He's in front of those wands. They're behind him. Okay, and then over here we have the Four of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, which is wonderful. So to me, and now in this depiction of the Four of Cups... It really looks to me like he's working on it. Because he's got some type of tool over there in his hand. Alright, so this is telling me that he's building. He's got three of the cups on the tray. And he's got that one in his hand. Okay, so that, that really tells me that he, he wants to put the work in. And then you got the Ten of Pentacles here. And then you have your victory card twice. You got six of wands and six of wands twice. But then at the end here, you have the four of swords. <clears throat> so I'm thinking that he's he's really worried and concerned that it's not going to work, but he wants to be victorious. 
And I'm really getting from this that he kind of just needs to relax and 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 seek some counsel from this. Continue, continue to talk to someone, to talk to himself, to manifest, to change, to work on it. Because there's a lot of work going on here with all these wands. But with the ten of wands back here, the ten, the ten of staffs that is in this, this picture, he's got it. He's got it under control. He's got those ten in his arms behind him, and he's got that one in front of him, and he don't look like he's about to drop a damn thing. Okay? Alright, that's because the nine of cups. So there's love here. There's definitely love, and he's definitely, see, he's definitely working on himself with the Knight of Pentacles here and definitely trying to change the past. Trying to trying to come back from it. He's trying to come out of it. Trying to fix things here with his four cups. He's trying to fill these cups and be victorious. But he's he's worried that it's not gonna work. I mean and rightfully so because this is a lot of this is this is a clear this is bad. This arguing, this fighting, whatever was going on between you, you're both Fully aware that this needs to change. Because then down here, that's all I've got for the feminine. I've got the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, the King of Swords again, and then the Five of Swords, okay? And in this particular cup, I mean Five of Swords, <coughs> usually it's one guy that's got most of the swords and you got other people that are walking away from the battle but these guys are looking a little beat up but yet they're looking like it was a rough battle but they're still managing to get away they're still managing to come out of it all right they were still somewhat victorious they may have lost a casualty because you got one sword down there on the ground they might have lost some people in the battle there's been some loss there's been struggle Feminine feels stabbed in the back. She feels betrayed by whatever. And I'm, I'm really getting that. I don't see any third party connotation. Any third party suggestion. You know, any suggestion or hint of a third party in this situation. So I'm really getting that whatever this issue is. It, it's something that more than likely can be worked out. And then here, with the four of wands, the eight of wands, the six of wands. Now, the devil card in this, there's passion. Okay? There's passion. This is passion. In some decks, I want you say that the devil card is a toxic situation or, yeah, and love can be addictive. It can. But in the right situations, you want to be addicted to the person you love. And then we got the Seven of Wands, okay? And then you got the Six of Cups. So, Feminine, you're wishing for things to be different. You're wishing for that ideal relationship that's shown here in the background. And this lady is looking at that couple over there, and she's ignoring the cups that she has. So what that says to me is that, I have to say this, I think I said this to Sagittarius's, possibly, you have to also be realistic because everybody's cups are not the same. Everybody's relationship is not the same. Just because Sally gets flowers from her husband doesn't mean that you should fully expect your husband to bring you flowers. Maybe he's allergic to them. Maybe he can't afford them. Maybe he's just not thinking on that level yet. But I see up here that he's willing to work on it. And I see him being victorious and with the ten of pentacles he's got the money but he needs to let his he needs to express his feelings a lot more he needs to be more loving more caring more nurturing and i and i feel like <clears throat> so yes this is saying to me with the four of cups the eight of wands the six of wands the devil card like i said in this 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 deck this says to me passion. Because if you look, uh, there's fire and thorns on these roses. And they are still going at it. They ain't worried about the burning. They're not worried about the sticking. None of that. 
Well, not the, that's, I mean, this, they're not worried about the sticking from the, the thorns, not the other kind of stick. You know what I mean. Um, they're not worried about any of that. They're just going at it. And then once again, we have the seven of wands. There's, there's, this is a commitment. There's love. There's passion. There is possible victory because there's love and there's passion, but it's going to take work. And I know that you want this perfect relationship. And then I, I see here that you're manifesting that. You're calling that. You're doing some type of work, Miss High Priestess. And, and the strength card, you're being strong. The five of wands, you're putting up the work. You're putting in a battle. It's been a struggle. But I see here with the star card, all right, and the empress, that you will be successful as well. All right? You're definitely going to be successful. Both of you. You keep manifesting. And if you, that's what I was going to say. If this is your husband, your soul, your soul, you have a soul contract with this, with this masculine, you are well within your rights, honey. Get, get on that good hot spell work. Get on that spell work. I'm not saying to keep someone in a situation that they wouldn't want to be in. But if he wants to change and he's trying to change, there's not a damn thing wrong with you manifesting, with you calling in the positive, with you calling in that change, with you doing some spell work to maybe dissipate any issues that you have emotionally or financially to clear uh, emotional blockages. A lot of our masculines are suffering from... Um, uh, Issues have issues with intimacy and expressing physical love and emotional love. And they feel like you can just throw money at it, Ten of Pentacles, and you'll be successful. Or if, if I just give her a little bit of love, it'll be okay. But we want our cups of love full. We don't want nine cups. We want all ten. And we deserve all ten. So if that love is there and the will is there on his part, then, honey, do all the spell work you want. If that's your significant other, if that's your divine counterpart, and you're only doing doing spell work to bring more positive into the situation, I'm not saying if this is with some this man is with somebody else that you go do a spell to break up that relationship. I don't mean shit like that. I mean don't affect anybody's free will. However, the changes that you want to manifest with their relationship, by all means. You want to have more romance. You want to have more, more physical <clears throat> attraction. Although I'm getting it that there, that there, that passion is there. If you want to not fight as much, you want to get along. You want to be on one accord. You want to manifest more money. You want to bring in change for the positive. Do your thing. Empress. High Priestess. I'm sorry. High Priestess and Empress. Because you're both here. Okay? So, you you got it. You got the strength. You have the knowledge. That's what this all says for me. This is for my metaphysical women out there. Okay? Do what you do. Work your magic. And masculine, keep working on yourself. Keep seeking, the, keep seeking counsel. With, from yourself, from your feminine, more importantly, instead of asking outside people, ask your feminine what to do. Ask your feminine what she wants. Ask your feminine how she wants to be treated. And oblige that. You can't love somebody the way you want to love them. You have to love that person the way that they want to be loved. And tell you that they want, you think we're lying to you when you say I, do we want A, B, and C? We want this, we want that. We're not lying. And if it's within your power, and that is your divine person, that is your counterpart, you should be willing to meet that person and fill these four cups with whatever they ask you to fill it with. If it's within your power. But if you're just sitting around on your ass and you're like, no, I'm just not going to love her the way she wants to be loved, carry your ass on. Don't take up space for somebody who may come in and not give her all this headache and will love her daily. 
Because another one comes along every 15 minutes, just like the bus I take to work. Okay? Love y'all. Talk to you the end of May. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.